Welcome back, everybody. Morning, everybody. Joe here. Kevin. All right. We, kind of a bummer episode. Yeah. The last, um, the last episode. It, it's really kind of funny. You and I were like, you know, for the for half the season, we're like, sooner or later, they have to break up because <laughs> yeah. it's a romantic comedy. It can't just focus on a couple for five seasons, for sure. right? Um, so there's got to be a, a breakup of some kind here some way. And they got us past it. They told okay. each other they loved each other. They got through some pretty tough times. Like, okay, well, wherever the breakup is, it's a long ways away. And then they dropped it out of the out blue of with that last episode in yeah. a way that worked. It, it, it made sense. They they got drunk. They were hungover. And they're, they're, question and, and because, that. yeah, and then their, their defenses were down. They're feeling yeah. insecure. They're feeling like crap. And that's when these this really awkward conversation kind of spiraled them. It's a good thing they had the conversation, too. Sure. Look, I'm not sure in terms of the show how long – it's been since they started dating. Uh, my guess is like almost a year, if not longer. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty early, wasn't it? Was it season two when they started dating? Was it the beginning of this season? It was like two, end okay. of two, beginning of this season. So gotcha. It's kind of nice that we. we, we they were because that. the CC's wedding yeah, was, CC's was they, they were dating by CC's wedding. Yeah. So it was season two. And so it's tough, right? Because we love these two characters, but we know it's necessary for them to split up. It, for the show as well, narrative. Sure, you know, and it's there's nothing wrong with wanting something that your partner can't give you, but at the same time, I don't think that's the case long term. I think eventually they will return to one another, but Me too. what that journey looks like is going to be really fun and yeah. really interesting, too. I, I feel like we're going to spend a couple episodes with them trying to navigate back to being friends again. Yeah. Like, what happens when, and it probably won't happen immediately, but when one of them wants to date somebody else, how does the other one, like, you're thinking that, yeah. like she, your roommates and friends, and now your ex is going to start dating somebody right in front of you? Like, yeah. that's, that is a punch in the face and for most people. And they share the same room. <laughs> and they share the same, yeah. Think, things are going to be a little touchy for a while. That living room is going to be like, you know. Yeah. Uh, Plus, for the show, I like the idea now that each of them, probably not this season, but next season, can, we can't introduce more, you know, romantic partners for them, which is more gunslingers, yeah. which is always fun on the show. I love it. I love it so much. We got Tay Diggs on the show. That's so <laughs> random. Even though he wasn't a love interest, but still, you know what I mean. He was pretty funny though. That's that amazing. Episode. Yeah, he was great in that episode. Like, um, do you think Winston uh, gets together with the super hot girl he's helped Michelle? I think did Michelle. he help him move in? I don't know. But we need to get Winston a boo. Yeah, to. Uh, I guess that means he's not dating the bus driver lady anymore. If he's if he's hitting on this girl, or they may not be. Exclusive. My assumption is that's like an off and gotcha. off again thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, again, we've said before, this is a show that doesn't really give the, the one character that doesn't get his romantic due on the show is Winston. Yeah. He's and the I, wild card. I, I don't know. I mean, coach too, but he's been gone for so long, so sure. I'm not. It, it's not as big a deal. But I, I would. I want to see an actual relationship arc with Winston. That's a real relationship arc. We get him, we get him with the other three yeah. of the original cast, right? Mm -hmm. So come on, man. Winston's a great character all the time. I I, I don't like the idea of like he, he, he do his thing? him having a girlfriend that pops in once every ten episodes. It's like, oh yeah, you're somebody. And she's kind of strange. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, give, for give, sure. Let Winston have some fun. Let him have a relationship, even if she is strange. I, I would. I, yeah, I, I want Winston to have a relationship that gets equal footing with Schmitz and uh, Nick and Jess's relationship. Please. Yeah. He deserves it. Okay. All right. We should go ahead and jump into it here. Uh, I would like to thank all of our Patreon subscribers for being here with us and give a special thank you, thank you to Actuarial Lurker, Balas Fuldes, Chris, Jeff, Christy Goverston, MJ, Suryagunda Varapu, Weird Magic, Torgir Langstad, and Emily. Thank you so, so much, guys. We're very glad you're here with us. Yes. And if you're watching us the first time on YouTube, welcome to our channel. If you might hit the like button for us, please leave us a comment down below and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we've come your way. If you would like to see a full length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or currently watching, Please check out a link in the description below to our Patreon page on every show, including New Girl. We are at least four episodes ahead on Patreon of where we are on YouTube. So if you get done watching YouTube edits and want to continue, you can do it there on our Patreon page. You will have to sync and watch along on your own stuff. You're only going to see us for copyright purposes. Yes. We are also watching 30 Rock as a Patreon exclusive. Awesome show. We're at Patreon subscribers as we're getting back. The big news is telling everybody they broke up. Yeah. I'm assuming. Uh, we're going to go and check up in episode 21 as we get near the end of season 3 here in 3, 2, 1. You and Jess broke up. Bed got burned. Did you drink again? <laughs> yeah, like, like, did you get, did you, yep, he probably did. Yeah. He probably got drunk, yeah. It was not a dream. <sighs> oh. So she's, they are sharing her room, but she's already up. Oh! <laughs> Goodness, changing in the closet like Sumeran. Boob season's over for you. So how you doing? I'm really good. Good. How about you? Great, yeah, I'm really enjoying the breakup. Yeah. I think I'm handling it well. Yeah, you are. So I saw this TV show about monkeys in India, 
and one of the monkeys, when it gets nervous and it wants to play submissive, it goes like this. So what do we do now, Jess? Well, normally I would go home, but I already am home, so I can't do that. <laughs> I know where you live. <laughs> and I live where you live. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Hey guys, um, we have... Uh... Big news. I just got into the police academy. <laughs> <laughs> that really is big news, big news. And to celebrate, I'm gonna have a banquet in my honor. A banquet for yourself? Why today should not be all about me. Oh. So I guess we're not telling anyone today. Ma doesn't seem like the right move. Yeah. So we have to pretend to be a couple for one more day. Capital O, capital K, capital A, capital Y. I'm okay. I'm not okay, Mom. I'm not okay. I know we did the right thing. I just, I feel like really upset and Nick seems totally okay. It's not gonna be fine, Jess. <laughs> oh. I'm never gonna be a grandmother. What? Oh my God. Oh. Mom, stop crying. This was really comforting, Mom. It's like I'm in the womb. Look, of course she doesn't know I'm in pain, Tran. I'm hiding it, like you're supposed to. But I'm lying to my best friend. Oh, you mean just focus myself on Winston? And I won't have time to think about Jess. It's more just stay busy, right? Thanks, Tran. Winston, I've been thinking about it and a banquet is not big enough. You're not retiring from some insurance company. If I had my druthers, you know what, 100% of my druthers, I, I gotta go honey roast. A roast, except you say nice things about me. Honey roast. You just get everybody to say a bunch of cute stuff about me. You know, all the like funny stuff that makes me sweet, you know? You shall have that, Winston. What else you want? I'm thinking maybe you should MC my roast. Oh. And can you do it dressed as Ferguson? I'm not gonna do that. Thought it might be special. Nah, it's strange. What are you doing back there? Thought it was about time I graduated high school. Mm. I'm proud of you. I failed the last five practice exams, so that seems like a bad sign. Of course you're failing. You're studying here in a rowdy tavern. I'm taking over. You need a tutor. Yes, I'll do it. Oh, oh Cece, I really need <laughs> to ask Schmidt if my outfit's working. I was in the middle of tutoring Cece. Make it quick. I'm not busy with Nick anymore. Hmm. Jess, are you pregnant? We are really building Winston's throne, huh? It's a prominent chair. And it's not right. It's not regal enough. For the honey roast, I'm trying to think of cute things to say about Winston. I got great stuff about his feet. What are you saying, dude? You sound insane. Like, for real. Like, I'm scared for you. Don't do that voice, because it makes me confess things. I'm really scared for I you. I broke up with Jess. Well, at least that explains all of that. Kind of. <laughs> I just feel like I'm falling apart. Like, my brain feels like spaghetti. You have to hide your feelings no matter what. And I am. She thinks I'm OK. Schmidt's got some anxiety pills in his top drawer. Yeah. That's a great idea. Do it. He just seems so fine with it. Like, he's happier than me. I'm sure he's just as sad as you are. It's an act. You need to go and talk to him so he can tell you how he really feels. Are you guys Frenching? OK, say you're Frenching and I'll stop knocking. Ignore him, OK? Just ignore him. Not a word. No. Hey! Come here, you. Mm. Why are we doing this? Yeah, take the pills. Uh, I feel as if I'm of cotton. Sorry for what's about to happen. Do you have a minute to maybe have a conversation with your sweet, sweet girlfriend? Only way we're gonna get through this is if we're really honest with each other about how we're really feeling. Why are you winking at me? Am I winking? Yeah. I think I'm just a little nervous. I don't want you to tell me how you really feel. Great. Gr I'm sorry, great? I feel great. It's great? I feel amazing. Amazing? Yeah. You feel amazing right now? You don't have to worry about me, because I'm worried about the honey roast. I'm sorry, I forgot that Winston is the most important thing that's going on today. What is wrong with you? What, are you scared of a couple practice tests? Just something more important came up, that's all. Nick and Jess broke up. <laughs> I knew you knew! Oh, I knew it! So you knew, too. Nick and Jess break up and you spring this on me like a... Like it's a freaking weather report? My boyfriend, Nick, is totally freaking fine. Wine. Yeah, make it a big one and a holiday pour, because today's all about Winston. Somebody say Winston. 
Whoa! Hey, it's your day. I'm diving in. What can I do? Because today is all about Wednesday. Yeah. My name is Nick Miller, and I'm your host for tonight's Honey Roast. <laughs> and I'm Ferguson the cat. the cat. Yup, yeah, yup! Yeah. <laughs> Poor Winston has no idea. No idea. Tonight's Honey Roast, we're gonna keep it sweet, keep it positive, but most of all, we're gonna keep it cute. Am I right, Ferguson? Drinking a cat, Bernay. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. That's pretty good. Winston is so cute, he once met a Japanese gal named Mariko, and she started wearing him as a backpack. <laughs> I think it's time. I think it's time that this cat takes over. I feel like we should make this a real roast. Yeah. Don't do that. I'm kind of scared, but I'm also kind of excited. What's up, coach? You have so many sweatpants, you need to buy normal pants. <laughs> Your hair is so long. Well, you're basically busted. Good good. What can I say about Nick that hasn't already been said? Oh, here we go. Nick calls birds wind mice. Think he calls turtles shell beavers. <laughs> well, that's what they should be called. But, but you know the worst, oh my God. worst, worst thing about Nick? Oh, okay. He's oh. okay. And I oh. am not okay. I'm on Schmidt's anti-anxiety medicine. <laughs> Yeah, I stole it from his drawer. I'm very much not okay. I was only acting okay because I thought you were okay. I'm not okay. I am not okay. I'm terrible. Can somebody please tell me what the hell is going on in here? You want to do this? I think we should. We broke up. We broke up. up. No! What? Come on, guys. It's so okay. obvious. Son of a beast. What do you mean? Well, why didn't you tell me? Because we didn't want to ruin your day. And I'm so sorry we did. We're so proud of you that you got yeah. into the yeah. police academy. If something this big happens and you guys still look out for me, I mean, that's, thank you. I really appreciate it, you guys. Look, I know this is super weird and definitely high on anxiety pills, but I'd like everybody to hold hands in this moment. <laughs> no, be it mm -hmm. okay. This feels good. Oh. Yeah, this is this episode has been off, off the rails. It's been pretty deranged. Never tell anyone we did this. Should we yeah, all try to live inside a peach or is that weird? That's weird. I will be postponing the honey roast until tomorrow night. Okay. So, uh, here, here. No. No, no way. Yeah, Not yeah, doing yeah. it. <laughs>all three screens i just don't understand how penny got in trouble yes this was really hard i don't know what to do i don't know what to call you it's like a riddle oh no i'm out of tissues oh. i got it heads up oh good night honey good night Um, I, I like the fact that we're processing the breakup, you know? Yeah. I, like I said, this episode was off the rails. Very deranged episode. <laughs> it really was. Um, but funny. Like, oh, really yeah. funny. Like, Schmidt killed it this episode. Um, also, like, this is a cool dynamic, right? I mean, like, they live in the same house together. But, yeah. I mean, ostensibly have the same room. Yeah, so, really, like, yeah. So, you know, I'm curious to see how long they go with, like, does one person have the couch one night? Does one person have the room another I, I don't know. Somebody move out. Like why? Jess is an assistant principal now. I don't know why she just doesn't get her own apartment. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I probably narratively doesn't work. Terms but of the show. Yeah. In, in, in the real world, I think she would be like, you know what? I I have a decent enough income. I can afford my own one. Even in L.A., yeah. that's where they are, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I can afford my own one bedroom place in L.A., but on a a teacher salary. Yep. Well, I mean, she's an administrator now. Yeah. Administrator yeah. salary. Yeah. I mean. Like, that's the thing, though, right? It's like it has to, they have to stay here for the show. Of course. Because otherwise, because we, in real life, you just wouldn't talk to those people again. Yeah, because <laughs> you know Schmidt can easily afford to move out on yeah. his own. He's the biggest earner there. Well, he's got a lot of his money tied up in Abby's. So oh, that's right. Yeah. He, that, that, yeah he, he rented a storefront for three years. By the way, that episode where, like, Nick is his lawyer, maybe crazier yeah. than this one. Absolutely. Like, I love that season three has really been this, like, a, a lot has happened in this, in this season. Yeah, for sure. And in terms of like them being crazy, they're insane. Yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to Winston moving forward in the police academy. And, that, yeah, man. I feel like it's a really cool arc for him. We're finally getting something of Winston with of, of his own story, right? For it's sure. not him being there in support of everybody else's story. He gets to go on his own journey. Yeah. Um, and and there have been little bits of it here and there on the show, but for the most part, 
Winston's been there to kind of crush it, yeah. coming into everyone else's A, B, and C storyline. Sure. And now we get one that's it's just his. He and needs, I, and I really, yeah. He needs it. You know? Yeah, for sure. And in terms of him being a cop or playing a cop, I always thought that like if they wanted to reboot Beverly Hills Cop, he'd be perfect for it. Sounds like he wants. You know what I mean? Sure, like yeah. he's got that vibe. So like, yes. I'm very much looking forward to seeing how this season wraps up. What is the big finale going to be? Because like we said in the last episode, they yeah. always go big. And what is the, what are the implications for season four? What's sure. that going to be? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, pretty excited to check it out, actually. Me too. But we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.